Students from across the world are heading to California with a vision for the future of transportation and a singular intention to impress Elon Musk. Now, the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla launched a competition to have engineering students present their best ideas for what the Hyperloop One will look like. That's the so-called fifth mode of transportation. André-Pierre Duplessis explains now how travelling inside a tube at the speed of sound could change the way we travel forever. Two, one, start. This was the first public test of another Elon Musk dream that could change our world. When the billionaire first floated the idea, many thought it would be impossible. But this prototype, first tested in the Nevada desert, showed that the so-called Hyperloop is in fact a viable idea. Well, imagine a capsule with people, filled with people that's hovering inside the tube. Inside the tube, you create a low-pressure environment, very similar to an airplane that's on high altitudes. So now um, the capsule traveling inside the tube doesn't encounter as much resistance and therefore can travel really fast with uh, very little energy. Hyperloop One is the only company that has built pot cars, a hybrid of a spaceship and a train, to travel in a vacuum tunnel at over 1,000 kilometers an hour. In an effort to encourage international scientific collaboration around the futuristic concept, the company invited engineering students from around the world to design what the pots would look like. We think the technology uh, is going to be ready to deploy by the end of this decade. Um, you know, we're going to be, you know, the global challenge is part of our outreach uh, to find the best opportunities around the world uh, where we can uh, deliver real value, where infrastructure financing is in place and where the regulatory environment um, is going to be supportive of this new innovative technology. One of the teams who will be showing off their designs this weekend is from Delft University in the Netherlands. It's actually quite simple. It's a pressure vessel, what you see over here. Uh, it has a levitation system, a braking system, and some electronics. Uh, and that's basically all you need to, to get a Hyperloop working. The UAE has shown the most interest in getting the Hyperloop One built. Because the design needs an unobstructed straight line between two cities, the geography between Dubai and Abu Dhabi makes it the ideal location. This weekend's tests will be key to further realizing that dream that could ultimately change the way we travel around the world. Andre Pierre de Plessis, TLT World.